Hello everyone and welcome to what likely will go down in history as my one hellish LP. Anyway, we are doing Mega Man and this is the first of the Mega Man Marathon which I am going to be doing. Anyway, um, differences from this game from every other Mega Man game is of course there are six bosses instead of eight which became the standard. Um, also there's a little score cheat, scorch, um, that you can get, like, 300 and 600 stuff for killing things. That never shows up in any other Mega Man game, ever. So, don't expect to see that ever again. Anyway, um, there was a little bit of lag issue you saw there for a second, but that's, that should be gone soon. Um, I'm not able to record this with Frap, sadly, so I have been forced to use the happy recording system of the system itself. And hopefully it won't cause horrible, horrible shit to go down. Anyway, as you can see, um, I really don't know what to really talk about right now. I mean, <laughs> uh, differences are really that. Um, this was also before the Mega Buster um, could charge, as well as you can be able to slide. So all you can really do is run, jump, and shoot. Um, what we're fighting right now, they're called Sniper Joes. These are become these are one of the most iconic um, monsters or robots you'll fight in the entire series. Um, I mean, this game, most of these Mega Man games have been most really OP, and I'm really just doing this for um, celebration of Mega Man Legends 3 coming out soon, um, hopefully soon. But um, yeah, we're on Bomb Man stage right now. I, I, I really wish I had something to really talk about right now. Which is I'm recording this now since I just announced it. This is going to be uploaded in a few days after I've recorded it. And it's just, blah. I mean, if I'm going to be doing these Mega Man LPs, I'm going to be doing them all in big chunks. So I don't end up, um, being too overworked. Because I'm already doing enough with school and P90X and a bunch of other stuff. Fucking A. Uh, I might as well tell y'all I'm not the best at the original series. I'm better with the X series. In my opinion, um, the best series, though, is um, the Zero series. But um, when it came to the original Mega Man series, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just because it was old school. And I really wasn't into the Mega Man games until X4 and fuck. Also, another difference from this and the other games is that um, when you're hit by an enemy, you usually get like a few seconds of um, invincibility. And so you won't, wouldn't normally die from spikes. But in this game, they were like, nah, let's let you get hit and then die from spikes. Because we don't care about you. Because you're buying this game anyway. And we're not going to think this game's going to be totally worth anything. So fuck it. We're just going to put you in place in spikes and be like, hey, yeah, you got hit. You know what? You're still going to die from the spikes. Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, they changed that in Mega Man 2. And from then on out, you had a little bit of invincibility point where you wouldn't die from spikes. Anyway, uh, I've lost a good share of lives, even though I got that one free man right in the beginning of the game. Which is always pretty fucking nice. Anyway, we are about to reach the first boss. And another difference in this game, compared to the other ones, is... Normally you would be in a small little, roo a small little room when you enter the boss room. Like beforehand, it's sort of like a save point. In this game, they were like, as well... Hey, let's put shit in front of you, so, I mean, you just didn't go through hell already just to get here. So, let, let's just, like, make you do stuff even more to take down more of your life. But anyway, with the, with the pattern we're going in, we should be fine either way, but, um, ow. Anyway, we are at the first boss. Bomb Man. He throws bombs. Not surprised. Anyway, he will, he will take his time to actually stay away from you. Like, you can just keep shooting him, honestly. He's, like... You get hit by one of his bombs, it's not going to be the end of the world. His attacks don't really do that much damage. But he will always try to make it, like, a necessary, like, thing to stay away from you. So you don't have to, like, really worry about him, like, getting really close to you to hurt you. There we go, we killed him! Bomb Man is dead. And you grab the little shining thing and you get your, you know, power-up. Little thing with Mega Man, which made him famous, is that every boss you beat, you get their power. Um, except for, like, the final boss at the end. But, like, the main robots, you can get their powers. Bomb Man's power is to throw bombs. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the second boss we're going up against is gonna be Guts Man. And dear fucking god is his stage a bitch. He 
Yes, a bitch. You may be wondering why. It's because of these green platforms of death. Of death! Anyway, we gotta jump on the platform and hopefully not die a horrible death. This would be awesome if we don't die the first time, because then it would make me look like I'm a badass and make up for dying so many times on the first level. Anyway, those little dotted lines are when the thing will fall, and you will fall really quickly. Oh. The fuck? Oh, that was kind of gay. Anyway. Let's try that again. Um, yeah, this is, um... Probably where everyone who's ever had Mega Man 1 has lost in Game Over. Why did I even do that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just special. Anyway, let's try to not do this again because I think I only have one life now. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I have zero life left. This is the. This is where all the shit comes down to. Anyway, let's try to be a little careful this time. Anyway, like I said, this is where normally everyone who's ever owned Mega Man has, um, pretty much game over and probably gotten really pissed and never played the game again until a few months later. Um, it's pretty difficult just for this one point, because after this, it's pretty freaking easy. Uh, okay, jump. And then you jump. And then you gotta be really timing your jumps, because there's all these little ones right here, and if you're not taking any notice, you're gonna fall and die. Anyway, we've gotten through it. We're pretty much done with that hellhole. And we're going on to dealing with these little strange face persons. And where is it? Hey, life. Anyway, where is it? These are what I like to call retarded sniper joes, because they don't shield themselves. They just throw pickaxes and just shoot them over and over again. And they don't take that much life from me, so it's not that Oh god, spikes! Don't want to die! See, they're very easy to beat. I think I fucked up. I think I made a whoopsie. Yeah, I messed up. Fuck, I could've gotten that life. I could've really used that life. Ugh, anyway, like before... I don't think we dealt with one of these. Did we deal with one of these? I don't believe so. Those things will normally come out of the stages. I don't recall if we saw one in Bomb Man stage. No, we did not see one in Bomb Man stage. Those things can take a shitload of life, and they will normally be what we see before we get to the final boss. With Gutsman here, we got the Matars, as they're called. Another iconic, um, robot of Mega Man. Anyway, we're gonna take the bomb weapon, and we are going to... Fight Gutsman over here. Gutsman throws shit, because he's gutsy like that. Every time he jumps and lands on the floor, if you're on the ground, you will shake, and you will stop moving. It gives him time to hurt you. But not enough to really, like, kill you. So... Anyway, it takes about three bomb hits to kill him, so you can't really t you can you can time where the bombs will land, but that's only if you know your genetic. The fuck? Ah, oh, the glitch. Okay, yeah, there's actually a glitch in the first game where if you're really close to the exit where you entered and you kill the boss, you can actually like go right back into the boss. Like you'll leave the room and come back. So we gotta fight him again. Well, fuck me. I mean, that's... It's rare to see that uh, glitch happen, because you gotta be right near the door, get launched near the door, and with his, like... When he throws that shit at you, you can just get launched that way. Anyway, let's not let that happen again. So... Do this, and let him go die. Yay! Anyway, we've beaten him twice. Because I'm just that fucking badass. It's a great way to start off my Mega Man Let's Plays. Let's just, you know, like get a glitch going on. Either way, next boss is going to be Cut Man. He cuts things. I'm serious. That, that's... He is the weakest of the Robot Masters, as um, can clearly be seen that he has the scissors on his head. And the only thing he can really do is probably like, cut paper really, really good. And since there is no Paper Man, he's kind of fucked. Anyway... Um, his stage is pretty simple, it's, um, really not much to really talk about about this stage, it's just there. And right now it is really hot in my room while I'm recording, so, like, my head is starting to get a little bit... ...bothered. Ah, uh, I'm gonna take a little few seconds to concentrate here, because I really don't want to fail.
Fuck me. Alright, no failing this time. Damn it. So sad. There's nothing really much to talk about. Um. Uh, for my friends who don't know, um, who didn't see the video that I'm posting up before this, um, I'm doing a Mega Man marathon. Every single Mega Man game ever created. But since I already did Legends, that doesn't really count. So I already did it. So it doesn't matter. Either way, um, the first one in this line is Mega Man. Technically, it'll be Mega Man Legends, but we're gonna go with Mega Man 1 now. We're gonna go chronologically after this. Um, I will do the Rockman Dash driving games and all that good stuff, but I won't get to those until the end, and those will just be one episode showing you of the game, not playing through it, because I'm not gonna play Mega Man Soccer all the way. I just, like, there's no even real way to play Mega Man Soccer all the way. It's just fucking sports game with Mega Man characters. Yeah, I think there's a plot, but I haven't played that game since shit. I was a little kid. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go in chronological order, including the Game Boy games. We're gonna go in that little chronological order. And that's gonna be fun. That's just gonna be really, really fun. Uh, anyway, first we're gonna keep going up these little stairs. These little bastards here are the bane of my fucking existence. Oh, great, they lag the screen. Right. You don't have to kill them all, you can just like dodge them like I'm doing, which is usually the most preferred thing to do. And for these little scissor things, I didn't say it before, try to jump once before you start moving, and um, it'll fuck up their coordination, they won't be able to hit you, so you're pretty straight after that. But if you just run past it, you'll get hit, and it'll hurt a lot. Anyway, we're reaching the end of the stage, and the, almost the end of the first episode, so I'm not going to do like four robot masters at once, I'm going to do like three... Three, and then go to Wily Castle and just fuck Wily shit. Uh, I must say, even though I was sucking the first episode, the first level, I'm doing pretty good now. Ow! That shit hurt. As you can see, that shit can take a lot of life out of you. final boss. But these are pretty simple to dodge. And anyway, let's equip Gutsman's power, because we need it. We really don't need it, but um, you can beat him in like two hits with this. Um, as you can see, there's little um, bricks there that don't look like they belong. And that's because you can grab them. As you can see, they're blinking because we can grab them and we can throw them. Um, every time that Cutman throws his um, scissors, he'll always jump. But anyway, you kill him in two hits if you grab those boulders and hit him with it. Pretty simple boss, as you can see. Pretty easy. We're, we're, we're getting we're getting along pretty good. But anyway, guys, um, this is going to be the end of the first episode. And when we um, the next episode, we're going to go up against our, our nice little friend, Elect Man, who's also Mega Man's weakness. But anyway, guys, I will see you all later in part two of Mega Man.